Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared Vapes. This is uh, the second video uh, in the same day because I'm going to be doing three. Um, this time I'm going to be opening up my Lush RDA that I just received. All I did was take off the plastic. I got it from Mountain Baker Vapor for I believe about $22. And I've heard some pretty cool, interesting things about the Lush as opposed to other RDAs. So um, it's by Watofo. That's number one. They also you know, make these awesome comp wires. They read at 0 0.5 each. They're Clapton's. Um, I love these because I'm not a giant fan of making my own coils. So that just, just makes everything a million times easier. So, all it says is Lush, Matofo, on the back. It looks like it's a way to check if it's authentic or not. It's nothing fancy with the packaging. It's just, you know, a nice little black box with gold writing. Um, it also has a little sticker on this side. It says SS, meaning that's your color. I got stainless steel. Uh, I just, I like that look best. So, as we open up the box. Oh, boy, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, we'll go over these little papers first, so I can just get them out of the way. Um, tells you everything it comes with on this. All ring screw, screwdriver, broad cap, deck, 510 drip tip, and adapter, and the actual Lush deck. So it has that little thing there. Uh, it shows you how to put the O-rings on. For some reason, um, they don't come with the actual O-rings, which is a little weird. It says step one, no O-rings in the deck when you open it, so it wants you to actually put the two O-rings on right out of the box, which normally they come, that comes pre-done, so that's it's a little strange. Uh, and this just says that, you know, it's an authentic Lush, whatever. Not too big of a deal there. So we're going to open this up and we're going to assemble her. So each piece comes in its own little slot, which is nice, and then, you know, the big one was right in the middle. So that's pretty nice, and we'll go over that in a minute. So clearly I haven't opened this yet, which is very upsetting because normally I always play with these first, but I couldn't wait, so. Ooh, that's a very pretty RDA. Definitely gonna have fun with this one. So here she is. Now, I've been hearing complaints, so I'm not gonna, unless I can get it out. Nope, not yet. Gotta work it in first. Anyway, uh, this is the actual um, cover sleeve, whatever you're gonna call it. Uh, it has six airflow, well actually it's 12 total, six on one side, diagonally rising, six on the other, it's a match. Uh, but the way they're drilled in, they're drilled at an angle, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it on the camera, but you can kind of see, they kind of push in on a weird angle. Now one thing that really intrigued me when I heard about this is how it, the vapor, you can feel it, uh, you know, hitting it is different. It feels almost like a cyclone going in because of the way the air hole is designed and the way the whole thing is set up. So that's something I'm definitely excited to see. And in my next video, I'll be going over that in more detail. I'll be uh, actually vaping it. Um, comes with a what they call a broad cap, which already has your ring on. So, you know, your wide bore airflow. Or, I don't know what they call it on here, 510 adapter, chuff cap, whatever. It's all different. This one is smaller. It actually fits inside the other one but right here and it starts out small and gets a little bigger on the way up but that's what it'll be intaking so obviously i'm going to be using the chuff cap um i obviously like you know as much airflow as i can get this is adjustable airflow this little band right here at the top that you can see that little line that'll spin and rotate so you can block off you know a row or two um but it'll match on each side uh, i'm not it's totally jammed in there right now that is one tiny issue i have with this is you think that as soon as you get it you'll be able to pop it off but that baby's in there pretty tight so i'm gonna have to fiddle with that um the biggest reason why i got the lush it is a 510 it does protrude out just enough which is nice your little uh links silver plated connector it says lush with tofu right on the bottom it has its own serial number and the reason i love this device so much is it is a four post and it does not wiggle or anything like that. So it is a very beautifully well done device. Um, fits right in there and then you'd put, you know, your little chuff cap in there if I can actually get it to fit. And that's the fun part because now that it's brand new I gotta work with it. And I don't want to yet. I'm gonna grease that up with some juice in a minute. Maybe then it'll slide in a lot better. A lot nicer. Oh, there we go. It's in. Nice. There we go. So this is what it's going to look like all in all. 
it's a nice tall RDA. This is for, uh, for cloud chasers um, for the most part. Um, but then again, you got people like me that just want to try it for the hell of trying it. Because so, it is a nice and expensive, I got it for about $22, $23. Uh, so it's not a super expensive RDA, especially for all the good reviews I've been hearing about it. So I'm not really going to complain there. Oh, oh boy, that's a lot of little screws, Jesus. I don't want to lose those. So it comes with all these extra screws in case you lose them. Uh, this is actually a really cool tool that they give you um, because you can use it for different RDAs. You don't have to use it for the, just this one. It comes with um, a little wrench that has an Allen head, one on each side. Looks, yeah, one is a 2.5, one is a 3.0, and then it comes with your, uh, you know, normal size Phillips. So it comes with three different options on there, which is pretty cool that they did that because, you know, a lot of RDAs do use different things. This one does use the, uh, the Allen head, so they included both sizes. It looks like all four are the same size, though, so that's a plus at least. Um, so, and then you got all your extra O-rings and all that good stuff which is always cool that they throw those in there. I'm actually gonna throw on those O-rings now because in a minute, I'm gonna be throwing a build on here and vaping on it. How can you not? The thing looks awesome. And this one goes over. And then roll it down, there we go. Double O-ring action in there, ready to go. Let's see how it fits. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely grease that up with some juice first so I don't scratch it up. But, I mean, that's basically it until I vape it, and then we'll talk about it, which will be in my next video. I just wanted to go over, you know, the unboxing uh, for the Lush RDA. Like I said, very inexpensive RDA, very easy to build on because it is a four-post as opposed to uh, I have a three-post, and I'm not a giant fan of it. Um, it's very hard to manipulate and move the wires. So I always try and go for um, a four-post if I can. And considering this was, you know, $22, $23, uh, and, and, you know, they also send you a free juice, you can't really complain. It's it's everything you need to uh, to get going. You can throw it on any of your mods, anything that takes 510. Obviously, a variable wattage device would be better. Or if you can have a single 18650 with this, I I don't know how it'd work with a double 18650. It is a cloud chaser RDA, so it might actually work pretty well. It's definitely worth a shot. Um, but that's it for this video. And then I'm gonna assemble it with my uh, my 50 watt. I'm gonna stick it right on top of there and see how it vapes from there. So thank you for watching.